Hey everyone, it's me, Arthur Cade. We're at the premiere of Mr. Holmes, and who better to be cheering on Mr. Holmes than George Takei? George, are you a fan of Sherlock Holmes? Please say yes. I'm an Anglophile. Now, can you be an Anglophile without loving Sherlock Holmes? The, 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 no. Yes, uh, we uh, even went to, um, oh, what do I want to say, Bleecker Street. <laughs> the excitement of this evening, I, uh, where Sherlock Holmes lived. What was his address? Oh my God. It's you're, famous. You're, 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 we you're, went there. The house isn't there. There's a contemporary office building, but there's a plaque that says, here lived Sherlock Holmes. That is such a great answer. I love it. I went to school in England. I'm an Anglophile, and you cannot be an Anglophile without knowing uh, Sherlock Holmes or Dickens or, of course, Shakespeare. And who better to play than Sir Ian McKellen, right? Oh, absolutely. He was here, wasn't he? He was. He's yeah. back there now. Oh. You've been everywhere the last two weeks. The Supreme Court decision. How incredible is it? It. 2015 is an unforgettable year for me because not only is it the year where we got marriage equality throughout the United States, and I mean the United States of America, where we can pledge allegiance to the United States of America. You know, but this is also the year when my legacy project, a musical on the internment of Japanese American. Allegiance is opening on Broadway, so 2015 is going to be an absolutely unforgettable year. You had such success on the West Coast with it when you knew that it was coming to Broadway. How exciting. I mean, is it just mind blown? It's one's dream come true. I'm, my, my spirit is on cloud 99, and it is going to be a huge, smash success with a record-breaking run. <laughs>